You are now watching Exploring on the Unbeaten Pen. Fucking French braids. Expensive though. Yeah, but they're good. Right. These are all twenty right here. It's been a long. Fucking goddamn. Buying these. <laughs> Apparently, we're waiting on DJ. He got lost in the store. Corey's over here doing some ghetto uh, hair band shit. Did you find him? Nope. Bye, DJ. <laughs> Bye, DJ. <laughs> Deep with that left. Pretty good. Well, I wish it was warm. There it is. Feels good in here. Getting some liquor for the hotel. $12 for the cover. Who was with that data I have no idea. Uh, I remember the uh, crowd was 25. What do you say? You getting some? I'm taking a tinkle. He didn't tell nobody he was going to the bathroom. Just straight left. <laughs> <laughs> and we found DJ. <laughs> you getting vodka? Probably not. I really don't want to do whatever. We found DJ. Did you, know, did you see the crown? He was taking a tinkle. 
<laughs> That's what he said. We should stop him. He said, be there soon, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, be there soon, daddy. Yeah. Wait, where's the crown at? He's so gay. Yeah. So gay. Shit. No point in what? What you buying, bro? Huh? What you buying? I have no idea. I'm about to buy some liquor. Oh yeah, we're about to pour beer. We gotta figure out a place to put all this shit at. Alright, we're just gonna start with Walker's drug, you guys. Yeah, man, what's your favorite flavor for me? <laughs> the world may never know. I was thinking about UV cherry. Mix that with some Dr. Pepper and some cherry Dr. Pepper. That'd yeah. be dope. Or is this a boo boo? Finlandia? That shit was so stinky. What? <laughs> the fucking what Russian vodka? Cherry? Yeah, cherry vodka. Why? What? Why? Could you get some Dr. Pepper with some cherry Dr. Pepper? Oh, you, you almost leader. dropped that shit. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah. Just gonna be all for you. Yeah. Blueberry ale? I should definitely try some of that. I'm doing fuck this shit. I don't fucking know what to do. Oh my god! That is it for this vlog. See y'all at the hotel. Will they, DJ? Will they? I'd say millions of people. Yeah, that's it. I don't think they'll agree with you, DJ. Like four fucking, however, fucking six million people. What did you just have a drink of, Dawson? The new refreshing ski. <laughs> 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 Why is this shit so fucked up, Corey? I don't know. This is like fucking. Why are you looking like it? Why you got sunglasses on the inside? Oh, you know, the the camera. Camera. Your, your camera just totally was not focused right there. Your shit was blurry. I know. You got to hide and go. You going? I'm on the way to Mammoth Cave. MFK spelunking.
I don't know. Do, do you guys want to go to any of them? I mean, we could go take pictures by them dinosaurs and just, you know, I guess we could just fool around today. Because the other case probably cost two, so, I mean, we already paid 15 for this one, so might as well just fool around the rest of the day. That's true. Grab footage and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that too, chill in the hotel. That way it's two people recording. Get a little, get a little, should have brought my backpack. Uh, I think we'd be walking on those. Well, you're going to be walking on a trail in the cave, too. Yeah, but by ourselves? Is it no. No. Should I it right now? Uh, huh? You know, if it's recording. Is it cool? He's getting it all on camera anyways. Oh, he's got the GoPro on? Huh? Yeah. That's what's up. You know how we roll. Where'd Corey go? Oh. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm brutal, get you. <laughs> 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 like, I don't understand why y'all don't want to go back there. I want to. It's just an all-day trip, though. Yeah. I've never been there. That course isn't even really that close. Hey, because it was oh, hot as shit. Yeah, it was pretty hot that day. I lost my shirt because I took my shirt off. I'm bringing a cooler next time we go. <laughs> you want a walking cooler, not the fucking area. You should get a little, uh, little disc-off caddy thing. They hold all your discs. Yeah, you can get a little What? What do you mean you can't walk there? <laughs> <laughs> bro, damn, is this St. Hollis? Bro, it's not that big. You can't walk down there, bro. Why can't you? This is the exit. On that side. What does it say? You can't walk down here. Uh, I right. Know it doesn't say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from Ohio. I don't think it's true. Fuck it. If we get lost in this bitch, bro, there's fucking stairs and handrails. Nah, Look it out. Oh, God.
shit on it. Wait, Don't wait. Stand. He was two doors down from the school. <laughs> wait, wait till we get in hey, the cave. You know what the messed up thing was? Is sometimes the bus would pass my house. Like, I'm standing right here. How can you miss? But you know it was just as pointless. Like, she wouldn't even be looking at me when, I, when she drove by. I'd just be like, looking up like. I have to because there's no sidewalk on that side. And so if we do happen to see one today, and uh, if it flies into you because it's got this disease, after you stop screaming, let me know about it because <laughs> bats can carry rabies. They're mammals that can, that can carry rabies. I don't know anyone who's ever gotten rabies from a bat here at Panda Cave, but it can happen. And so uh, we'll need to know about it at that point. We've got some paperwork to fill out. When we get off the bus today, they're going to drop us over in front of the uh, lodge over there. And we're going to be uh, walking across some black spongy mats with soap and water in them. And that's because this disease is a, like I say, a fungal disease that's spread by spores. And we may get some of them on the bottom of our shoes, those spores on the bottoms of our shoes. And we want to make sure you don't take that disease out of here when you leave today in case you go to any other caves or uh, mines in the area that don't have it yet. So we're going to wash off the bottom of your shoes. That's what we're going to do. Okay? Anybody got any questions about anything? If not, I want you to give your keys to one response or keys your tickets to one responsible member of your party, and uh, go ahead and start loading this bus over here. And uh, the, the bus driver will take your tickets as you get on board. No flash photography in Mammoth Cave. No food or drink other than water. Well, welcome to what's called the new entrance to Mammoth Cave. That's the name that was given to that entrance right down there in that sinkhole uh, by a guy named George Morrison who came here in the 19-teens looking for oil. We don't have a lot of oil here in central Kentucky. He drilled about eight or ten holes, came up dry in every one, got the nickname Dry Hole George. <laughs> but he looked around and saw people were making money off of caves around here, so he went over to the, where the visitor center is, to the historic entrance of Mammoth Cave, and he took all their cave tours over there. And George realized something. They had a lot more cave below ground than they had land above ground. He knew their cave ran out from underneath the property that they owned above ground. So he went back home, got some investors, came back with a bucket full of money, and started buying up land that surrounded the historic entrance there, their land on top. And he'd always heard that uh, about these sinkholes here. We've got thousands of sinkholes in this part of Kentucky here. And because of that, we don't have a lot of groundwater. We don't have a lot of creeks that run for very long. We don't have a lot of ponds here because it finds its way to these sinkholes. And it goes down in the cave system. And that's where our water's at, down in the bottom of the cave system, by about 360 feet below us here. And George had always heard about these sinkholes that kids played in them during the winter, or excuse me, the summertime, because cold air came up out of the ground there, out of the cave. And so George thought, I'll try to get in the cave, the mammoth cave, that way. So he took ten sticks of dynamite down in that 
sinkhole right there, and he blasted a big hole in the ground. And he got into the Mammoth Cave, and he, uh, he called it the new entrance to Mammoth Cave. And we'll talk more about why he called it that, and talk more about George. We'll let him lead us through the cave today. Kind of an interesting character. It was kind of an interesting time in the Kentucky uh, cave history. But we'll let him lead us through the geology and the history of this area of Mammoth Cave today. I've got a few more rules before we go in. Government operation, we've got to have rules here, you know. Mm -hmm. Already mentioned, if you got any health problems, not easy to get you out of a cave, don't go into the cave if you've if you got concerns about it, okay? Like I say, it's uh, dimly lit, kind of like theater type light. If nope. not, follow me, guys. <clears throat> <laughs> you gotta record him, bro. Currently in the cave. trails.